wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all doing well and that you're all staying safe with yourselves and your families. I am excited to be here. You can see my face now. Uh, as usual, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluwa Kemi Osege. I just want to say thank you to everybody that have joined or subscribed to my channel in the past weeks. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all those of you that comment and likes my videos. Thank you so much. And I hope that I've been able to answer as much questions as um, you have asked me. Thank you, thank you. Please keep them coming. And do not forget to subscribe if you're watching this for the first time. Again, my, own, my name is Oluwa Kemi Osege. I do some videos on my channel. I've not transitioned mainly to cake stuffs. You might come onto this channel and find something interesting to watch, whether from um, baking to decoration. I'm trying to build a portfolio as best as I can and as time permits me. Thank you once again for joining. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Really, really appreciate it. God bless you. In any event today, I am not going to be baking, neither will I be decorating, but I will, I will be showing you one thing I do on my cakes, and that is called um, edible printing. If you are following me on Instagram, by the way, my Instagram page is stemac um, underscore cakes. If you, fo you follow us on stemac cakes on Facebook, you will see that some of my cakes I use edible print as the, either on the cake or as the tapas. I will show you a short video of some of the cases that I use edible print on. The three main benefits of investing in your own edible printing facility, if you are a baker, are the cost effectiveness, time effectiveness, and of course convenience, which means you can print in the convenience of your own home at any time during the course of the day. Prior to getting more confident on that, I used to actually pay a lot of money from cake shops to get these edible prints done. So when I have a cake with edible print, I spend at least £10 on every print. And the £10 is not like just sent to the, to the person or the, the supplier that, ah, I want um, a, a, a picture of so-so-so-so, can you print that for me? I'll come and pick it up. No, you have to do the editing yourself and simply send the picture to them for them to print. So that you're only paying for the printing. Obviously, I have to transfer that cost to the customer. That's £10 for any, if the cost of the cake was going to be like £90 before, plus £10 on the edible print. And that depends on the number of edible prints that we require on the cake. So the more the cakes, I mean, the more the edible print, the more um, uh, cost it will be. Because for each edible print, you pay £10. Or depending on how big it is, but for each A4 size page, you pay £10. So because of that, I researched on all this and decided to invest in an edible printer. Although it, it wasn't cheap, uh, actually, but um, I think in the long run, the, the, it, will, it was better off. So I invested in an edible printer and I researched on how to do that. And even when I do the standing 2D pictures and the standard series is actually the the figure that is standing on it, I researched on how to do that. And of course, I believe I'm near perfect. I'm not perfect, I'm not, you can't always be perfect, but at least I do okay. So that is what I want to show you how I do now. So for the edible printing, there are three um, main things that need to be considered. One of them, you have to have an edible printer. There is um, a number of them out there. This one that I currently have is called the Canon Pixma. It's one of the Canon Pixma series, and this particular um, series is the IX six hundred series. This one is IX six eight five zero. So you're gonna require an edible printer, and also you're gonna require an icing uh, icing sheet, a good quality one, by the way. Some of, some people use um, wafer paper. Wafer paper. It depends on what you want to use it for, but I mostly use an um, icing sheet and uh, I buy mine from Amazon. I think it's about um, about 20 pounds or 20 something pounds. I can't recall now, but I buy from Amazon and it contains a number of sheets. But as you can see, it is um, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free 
and uh, not free so it's suitable for vegetarian so they come sealed in a pack like this 25 a4 sheet there are 25 a4 sheets in them so i've got one sheet out they all come like that in a film and of course the where the print go so that's what i'm going to need require for my printing today in addition to that you need your image and how do i get my image i get my image from google for instance if i am printing uh, an image of gucci there was a gucci bag i did which i have a video of on my youtube channel so if i was uh, doing a, a video something that requires gucci print when i was doing that bag all i needed to do was to get a gucci print on the internet so i went to google search for it depends on how best you are able to use google search so sometimes i play around with words i just search printable gucci print image for instance and it gives me a lot of options of Gucci print. So all I need to do is to look for the one that is closer to my need. If I wanted this set of color of Gucci print, I select it. Like for the bag I did, I think I used this sort of a Gucci print. So you can see a lot of options there. And then what I did was I right clicked then copy image and then open open the new word document on my laptop and then paste so that's the image pasted so what I tend to do then I highlight it and then enlarge it to fill up an A4 sheet so there we go there it is I have a full uh, Gucci print A4 page and then I save it when whatever name or title I want to save it as usually I save it as Gucci print image so that if I want to have a similar product or similar uh, uh, order to create I can have it on the ready to do so I save that and this is what I'm now going to print I will now send to print on my edible printer using my edible printer and that so what then happens is that when I by the time it's printed I will cut it to size you can see it will come out like this on the page so you can now trim it to size you know so that it looks um you, you don't see this white so you cannot trim it to size and cut it so when you now you now remove the one that you've cut this one is like a um, sealant so it's like a peel so you simply peel it and get your edible print and then apply it to your cake depending on how much or how big your cake is or your the product you're going to be applying this on that will determine how many pages of this you need to create for the gucci bag that i created i had to print four pages four a4 pages imagine if i had to go to the shops to get that printed that is 40 pounds on edible printing alone and obviously when you quote that for a cake customer they say oh that's expensive but they don't know what we have to go through to get their job done to the standard in which we get them done in any event that is how i do my edible prints and uh, although it's still although i invested it in printer it's still expensive it depends on you how you now choose to charge with in respect of any edible print you're going to be using on any particular cake some if you if you begin to charge and uh, 10 pounds per sheet as every other person does in the shops that's a matter for you if you say because you now you, you've now invested in an, in an edible printer you're still buying paying money for the edible printer and buying the icing sheets and also buying the the edible ink because it requires an edible ink and it requires edible icing sheets and of course the printer has to be or compatible as well so you're paying for that you're replenishing that so you need to consider that cost as well you know when you're when you're um costing your cakes that requires edible print 
you can do less than 10 pounds you can do 10 pounds per page it's a matter for you it depends how well it uh, works out for you in any event on today's video i'll be doing i'm doing a book for a customer and a harry potter book which i have already gotten an image of from google and i will now be doing that i'll be printing that now and what i got the image of harry potter and the order of the phoenix that is what I'm creating, the book I'm creating today. I don't have the uh, skills to draw the... Although I could have done the first part of it. But in respect of the phoenix bird, I don't have that skills to draw or to paint or to do it on a cake. So I think it will be easier and more time effective for me to get um, the edible print of the top of the cake. And I can create the remainder of the items or, or images on the side of the book. So the, I, I have got this... Again, I searched on Google, Googled Harry Potter image, order of the Phoenix uh, cover page image, and there, I saw it, so I copied and pasted, and now I have now saved it on my uh, Word document to print out. If I wanted it to be enlarged, I simply increase, you know, it's a matter for you how you want it to look like you know that is how my cake is my image that i'm going to print out is now okay now i'm not going to print out this image of my book i will be inserting this in my printer the film has to be facing the back of the printer as in there whilst the the um rough side is facing the front I've checked my printer so now I am now going to print my image from my printer that's my Canon IX whatever so and then let print I say my printer hasn't um, picked up the paper this time. Sometimes it does that. That's the thing with the edible printer. It, it's high maintenance. I've had, this is the second printer I had to purchase. But you have to know how to maintain it. Actually, I have learned from my first printer. So, and uh, I'm learning with this one as well. Doing better with this one. So there you go. That is the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix um, cover page, which I am going to trim to size and place on my book, on my cake. And then obviously I'm going to create, use, create the side freehand because I'm not, I'm not going to be printing or drawing this. So I'm going to set this aside to dry for a couple of um, minutes or some few minutes whilst I prepare my cake. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut it to size. I'll show you when I'm doing that and then peel off from here. And then obviously steam my cake or my fondant and then apply it on top of it. All right. So see you in a bit.
Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment of your thoughts. And if you like me to create a video of how I created these 2D cake toppers, do let me know in the comment section and I will create them to do so. Thank you and bye for now.